if you are new to the channel then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification okay student welcome you all to this new lecture in intermediate level so today we will see how to insert n numbers of arithmetic means between two numbers and also n numbers of gm between the same numbers and also n numbers of hm between the two numbers okay then let's see this so the topic is to insert you need to insert different ams arithmetic means between two numbers a and b so what is the given given is two number ab and you have asked to find to insert n a arithmetic mean 10 arithmetic mean suppose 5 arithmetic mean between a and b so the idea is how it will be if they are n numbers suppose a1 a2 they are n numbers then such that a a1 a2 up through n comma b this whole series including a b and all these numbers they form an ap then the middle numbers will be saying that they were the arithmetic means then we say we have inserted n arithmetic means if you can, can write it in ap format then you will say all these are ams between a and b how many ams because i have inserted n numbers so n ams so that my job is done these are the answers so now you can easily find uh, suppose you need to find it so how you will find it do you know the last term how many terms are there in this series this is up to n then one then one so n plus two terms the last term t n plus two is b so this is the formula for last term a plus n minus 1 into d this is equal to b from here you get d once you know d then you can find a1 a plus d a2 a1 plus d a3 a3 plus d easily so if you see this one one interesting thing you will know a plus d a plus d if you put it will be an plus b by n plus 1 if you put the second one if you add it with this one if you add again this then you will find a plus n minus 1 because if you add a one a will get reduced and b will get increased if you add again, B will again get increased, 1A will again get reduced. So it will get dot dot dot, last one, A will come to A, N will come to NB. This is actually to show this proof, no need to remember this one for formula. Once you know how to calculate D, you need not to remember this one. So you write it, solve it as AP, find D. Once you know that, then you can write it one by one easily. But to understand the fact, I have already gone it in this way. Now if you add all these AMs, N AMs, let's see the sum of all ams we have inserted so if you add all this so if you take a common it will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n it will go if you take b common 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n so now 1 plus 2 plus 3 this is in gp you will know it little bit later in the next topic itself that is summation of all natural number is n into n plus 1 by 2 or it is an ap you can apply summation formula you will get it this is an ap also you will get it or you just hold it we will we'll see this formula after some time so now if you cancel it out it becomes n by 2 a plus b which is nothing but n into this is not if you take n that is a plus b by 2 what is a plus b by 2 this is single am between a b if they someone asks you what is the am between a and b what you will say a plus b by 2 what you have learned from earlier topics just now what is am am is equal to a plus b by 2 you have seen this one this is am a plus b by 2 so if I insert a single am and if you take product of that one n times is equal to sum of all n am. Suppose you are asked to find 10 ams, insert 10 ams. The sum of all 10 ams will be 10 times of single arithmetic mean if you want to put it there. Similarly gm will be in same concept now you can get the idea if g1, g2 they are the numbers. So if you can write including a, b in gp then we say these are the gms that we have inserted between a and b. So now again you can see the last term is B, so last term is T n plus 2 is this one, this is B. So once you know R, then you can find A into R is equal to this one, then this one into R will be the next one. Again if you put it there, you will find this type of format. Again if you protect product, so you can see A will get reduced by A because A is divided and B will get added. So B will increase, the last term will be this one. This one again to show you that property. Now if you take product of all GMs. Here you have taken sum of all AMs, which was equal to n times of single AM. Here it is product of all GMs. If you take this one, which will be nth power of single A GM. What is single GM root AB? If they give you two terms AB, what is the GM? Root AB. So this is nothing but product of all n GMs is nothing but if you take single GM to the power n, that is the same. Nth power of single GM. Similarly for HM, suppose these are the HMs you are inserting between AB, so this series should be an HP. Then we say they, we have inserted an HM. So now again if for calculation we will always convert HM into AP. So the last time you know this is n plus 1 at 
to n plus 2 term you apply this one you calculate d once you calculate d you add with 1 by a you, you think this d is for ap not for this one so you calculate in ap then you reverse in hp so what is your 1 by h will be 1 by a plus this d whatever you got you just reverse it you will get h1 whatever you got just reverse it you will get h2 because you need to find not 1 by h1 h1 so once you know that you can find all the h if you like the video then press the like button and please give your valuable comments in the comment section